it's definitely, uh, I'd say, a little more Republican-esque. Uh, in, in theory, no tax increases, holding the line, looking for other sources of revenue, current, current, obviously, accounts that have been sitting there. We've been talking about it for two years. Um, I find it very ironic. I'm just coming out of the, the DCNR um, hearing, and I got to ask the secretary, you know, why was it two years ago when you condemned taking these funds, saying it's all committed, there's no money, and now this year, there's magically money to be, be had from these, these funds. So it's, it's interesting to, to see the dynamic. Um, you know, moving forward, I think there's a lot to work with with this budget. Um, you know, it's 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 fairly responsible. I think there's some internal mechanic accounting stuff we need to straighten out, uh, make sure we don't end up in a deficit next year. But uh, I think it's a it's a good, generally a good starting point. You try to drill down in the amount of time you have, uh, try to get a second round. Um, you know, today um, we really didn't. I didn't get any answers on why the special funds were committed and you know it's a travesty to take them two years ago to this year we fully support it and you know from the administration we fully support it and um, it's part of the budget and we, we need to do it so um, I did not get any internal accounting um, reasons as to why magically that uh, they're able to move money around and create uh, quote surpluses magically this year so we'll keep diving in and uh, keep grilling them and uh, uh, look forward to uh, the next few weeks and, and dive more into each agency.